Hello and welcome back to the Entertainment Vortex on our new episode of Pop Culture News. Of course, where we cover everything Funko Pop from the last week. To start off, we're going to talk about stuff that's available now that we talked about in previous episodes. First up is going to be the Stevanie figure, which was in last week's rumor section. This is, of course, from Steven Universe. Uh, next up on the list is going to be from Dota 2. It's the Earthshaker we also talked about in a rumor section in the past. And then last one is going to be Flashpoint Wonder Woman. Uh, so all these were brought up on our past episodes, and they are available right now out in the wild. So if these are something you're interested in, now's the time. So next up on the list, we're going to jump into the announcements for this week. Uh, next up is going to be something that's available at the end. Anime Expo, which of course is just passed, but it's also going to be a bait exclusive, so you can still get a hold of this if you're interested. It is Gold Bruce Lee. This is a really cool looking figure. I can definitely see uh, picking this one up. I'm a big martial arts fan. Uh, Bruce Lee is awesome. I love some of his movies. It's something that I would be definitely interested in picking up if I can run into it. Uh, this, is gonna, this is gonna be available sometime in July, and of course, like we said, it is a bait exclusive. So next up on our list is gonna be a Prime Day release exclusive for Sully from Monsters Inc. University, all that good stuff. Uh, it's a flocked figure uh, and it will be exclusive to Prime Day. Uh, I believe you can sign up now to get notified for it uh, when it goes live on Prime Day because it works like a weird time frame system. I'm super excited about this one. I already signed up for the notifications. Uh, I love Monsters, Inc. I'm really excited about this one. How about you? Yeah, me too. This is definitely cool. I have Prime, so I'm definitely going to try to lock this one down. Uh, I wish everybody luck. I'm sure it's going to be a nightmare to try to get one. <laughs> <laughs> so next up on the list is going to be some Conan O'Brien Pops. Uh, these are going to be GameStop exclusives. Uh, there are also some t-shirts to go with it. These are available on July 19th and they are SDCC exclusives. So they'll be available at the convention as well as the partner location, which is GameStop. Not really into the late night talk show thing. So I'm probably going to skip these, but uh, how about you? Are you a Conan fan? Uh, I love Conan. I love, not necessarily for his late night content, but for his viral content, like the Clueless Gamer series. I love watching him on that. Uh, so I'll probably try to pick some of these up if I can get a hold of them, but it's not something I'm gonna hunt down like super like crazy. So sticking with those SDCC releases, uh, there's gonna be a Captain Crunch Berry. It's like a monster type character. I don't remember seeing this on the box or anything, so I'm sure it was like a commercial or something like that. More of those ads that we were talking about before that we don't really necessarily like, but sure, someone out there is gonna love these, so uh, go get it if you want it. How do you feel about it? Yeah, we, we had talked about it before. I'm not really into these mascot things, but you know, I'm sure there's an audience for it out there, so all the power to you if you do wanna get it. So next up, we got a couple more SCCC characters that are gonna be available with convention and hopefully at a brother or sister location if we find out. First one's gonna be another Asuka from the WWE. A super cool looking piece. And then the other two, we're not exactly sure what they are. They are Funko exclusive things. Like they're, they're characters made by Funko. Uh, they're cute. They're kind of neat looking, but I'm not really sure if they're going to be part of something bigger or if it's like the little furry friends one they did. Uh, the Funko Forest, I believe it's called Evermore Forest. But they are very interesting. I know I open them probably want to, I want to get this Asuka. Big fan of hers. She's really cool in WWE. I haven't really watched for a while, but I do want to get the Asuka. Um, are you interested in any of these three? Uh, no. Wrestling uh, misses me completely. Uh, and then as far as like the random characters that you're creating, I, I see the value, just don't see it as something I want in my collection. So next up on our list is going to be things outside of that release for SDCC. Uh, we're looking at Ultra Instinct Goku. Now we talked about it, this in the rumor section pretty recently. Uh, it's supposed to get an August release. Figure looks super cool. He's shirtless, got the, the crazy gray hair going. Super cool character uh, iteration in Dragon Ball Super, uh, which I'm really enjoying. If this is something that you're after, go ahead and pick it up. I know I want to find it for sure. How do you feel about it? I haven't watched Dragon Ball Super, although I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, but this figure looks amazing. So I, I have this thing for gray hair on characters. I think it <laughs> makes him look BA. So I will pick this one up if I find it because that is super awesome looking. Uh, next up on the list is going to be one I'm super excited about. Coming out in September, there's going to be Blink 182 figures. I am a diehard pop punk fan. I'm just healing from a sunburn from Warp Tour, <laughs> and I really, really want to get these figures. They look super cool. You can tell who it's supposed to be, and I've been seeing all these rock musicians come out and all of this, and I'm like, where are my musicians? And here it is, uh, Blink 182. Now I just need to get a Green Day and a Newfound Glory set, and I am set. You can keep the Newfound Glory, I'll take the Green Day, and I definitely want the Blink 182. It is a little sad not seeing Tom, but I definitely want the Mark and the and the Travis figures. They look super cool. I really want them for my collection. So the next one up on the list is gonna be 
Twinkie the Kid. So these are supposed to be coming out in the fall. Uh, they were ones that we've talked about in, in our ad segments that we've been going over for the past like month or so. Still gonna miss me. Twinkie is okay, I guess. But I know that someone else out there is gonna really want these, maybe a big like Zombieland fan or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about them? Uh, not really my thing either. We've, we've discussed the mascot ones in the past, so probably gonna pass on this one. Next up on the list is gonna be a set that's coming soon. So we're not quite sure when it's gonna come out, but it has been confirmed. It's gonna be Tailspin. Uh, this is super cool. Disney Afternoon. I was all about the Disney Afternoon. <laughs> that was perfectly in my age age range and I loved all these shows and Tailspin was one of them that I was super fond of so I can see me picking up the entire set of these. How about yourself? Uh, I definitely am excited about these. I have a Disney collector's pin uh, to go with my collection of those of Tailspin. Tailspin was a big part of my childhood. I had cassettes, I had the VHS, I had all kinds of stuff. Uh, so these are really cool. I'm ready to get them. So next up on the list is going to be another coming soon release of uh, Friends. So it's going to be the Wave 2. The first one was more like just the characters. These ones are actual moments from the show. So you've got 80s Ross and Chandler, and then you've also got 80s Rachel. You have uh, Joey wearing all of Chandler's clothes. These are great. I, I love that show. It was one of the biggest nostalgia nuggets that I have from my childhood. I definitely want all of these. How do you feel? You know, I, I appreciate them making these, and I know why they made these, but I'm probably not going to pick these up. While I have seen a lot of Friends, it never really struck me like it did a lot of other people. But being that it is the huge juggernaut of a show that it is, I'm glad they did make these, because I know it's going to make a lot of people happy. Uh, next up is going to be a line that's still coming soon, and it's going to be Venom. And this is not from the upcoming movie. This is just a generalized line of Venom pops. And they all look really cool. Like, I'm impressed with some of the poses they did on these. Impressed to the point where I might even pick some of these up. I'm normally not the Marvel guy. He is. I'm the DC guy. But these are amazing pieces. I'm uh, super impressed with the sculpt. Tell yourself. Uh, I'm really into these. Uh, the fact that they did Hulk, they did Iron Man, they did Captain America, uh, and they have Carnage. I'm, I, I believe I have a Carnage already in my collection. Uh, I really, really want all of these. I will definitely snatch them up. So next up on the list is going to be another coming soon release of Tom and Jerry. So Tom and Jerry are the pops that you're getting here. You see them on screen. Uh, these look super cool. I love how Tom's kind of like holding the knife behind his back. Uh, it's definitely a, a neat little touch. Uh, I loved Tom and Jerry growing up. Uh, it's something that if I come across these, I will definitely pick them up. How about you? Um, I'm not sure if I'll pick these up. I definitely appreciate it, and I like the knife behind the back as well. It's a neat touch. Um, definitely has a lot of character to these. But once again, huge franchise. I can completely see these being super popular. So if this is something you've been waiting for, now's your time. So next up on the list is going to be a very interesting one. Funko announced cereal. <laughs> I know, you're probably going like, cereal mascots? No, cereal. Like, they're making their own cereal. So each one of the boxes of cereal comes with a little mini pop, and it is fully edible flavored cereal. I know it's weird, but I want every one of them. <laughs> I'm on a pretty hardcore diet right now, but I will eat a box of every one of those because that just looks like an amazing idea. <laughs> I don't know, kind of a neat gimmick. It's very gimmicky, but it's neat. How about yourself? I definitely want uh, at least a few of these, if not all of them. These look super cool. The box art, I would definitely hang onto the boxes as well after the cereal has been consumed because you can't just buy cereal and not eat it. What are you, a crazy person? But I definitely really want the Freddy Krueger one and then the Friday the 13th one being a big horror guy. I really enjoy those franchises and I would really love to have those boxes. It reminds me of the time when I was a little kid where you got a prize at the bottom of the cereal box. <laughs> it's like you're buying the cereal and you get a little mini pop as a prize. I, this is a great idea. I love it. It's weird, but it's great. So next up on the list, of course, is our rumor section. This is where we talk about things that are not confirmed yet, but are pretty likely. Uh, first on the list is a really, really awesome one in a custom box. It looks like a treasure chest. It's going to be a Little Mermaid moment. Her busting out of the water in the middle of the song. This is a cool, cool, cool pop. Um, next up is going to be from the Ant-Man movie, Ant-Man and Wasp, which we reviewed today. Um, it's going to be Hank Pym with his helmet off. Um, probably from the flashback scene right at the beginning. But uh, super, super cool. Uh, neat looking pop. Last up is going to be a big collection of pops. This is a giant amount of chromed out Marvel characters. Uh, you can see them all on screen there. Um, definitely cool. Um, out of all of these, super excited about the Little Mermaid one. Super excited about the Hank Pym one. If I see the, the chromed out Marvel characters, I might get a couple of my favorites in the wild, but uh, I'm not going to rush out to collect that whole set. Um, but really excited about the first two. I hope they come to be. How about yourself? Uh, sign me up for everything that we announced in the rumor section. Once they're <laughs> announced, 
Uh, I want them. I, I love Marvel, as you all know, but these all look super cool. I love The Little Mermaid. It has a special place in my heart, especially considering it's one of my sister's favorite films. Uh, so I definitely want to have that movie moment. And Ant-Man and the Wasp was great. Go see it. Check out our review if you want to know a little bit more about how we feel. Uh, but I definitely want that pop as well. Okay, so next up is going to be our haul. This is, of course, where we tell you the things that we personally picked up in the last week. Due to the purchases I made for Pokemon Go, which is our other new series that just started, <laughs> I actually didn't get any pops this week. But... I know you did. <laughs> yeah, uh, the only reason I got a pop this week, because I've also made some Pokemon Go related purchases as well, preparing for the community day, is a figure of Tiffany from Bride of Chucky that I got from him. He got it in a like a pop curated thing where they send you uh, boxes of stuff that you don't already have. And it's not something that he's super into, not being a horror guy, because I am, he sent it my way. Uh, I'm super happy to have it in my collection. I, I'm starting to build a little like horror section. Uh, it's just, finding uh, the territory to put it in. It's actually called Freddy's Box. This is not this is not sponsored or anything by them, but if you're curious, it's a really neat concept. The idea is that before they start selling these boxes, they put a pop in each one and they randomize the numbers. Some of the pops in the boxes are worth a ton. They're super rare. Some of them are super common. You pay one amount and then you kind of roll the die. It's like gambling a little bit. <laughs> you get the box, you open it up. Did you get a common one? Did you get a grail? What'd you get? You know, it's super fun. The anticipation is really fun. Plus the price is right. So check it out. It's called Freddy's Box. But that this specific one, I got a horror pop and he was happy. Um, I've also got a chasing one before, so pretty cool. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We give you multiple videos every single week. And we have t-shirts available if you're interested in those as well. Those are available down in the description below. We hope you'll follow us into the Vortex. We'll see you next time.